Um, hey, I do have a Weddle Tuttle say. Um, I know you'll have some feedback here. So let's see. Weddle Tuttle say has been a while. I uh, took one of my daughters to soccer practice the other night, and my other daughter wanted to go to, she calls it Super Target, but it's just a Target, a large Target. <laughs> And uh, she wanted to shop for a couple of things. I'm like, sure, let's cruise into Target and kill some time. So I don't have to do anything. But uh, she's like, oh, I got, oh, I got to try this on. And so I don't typically take my 12 year old daughter. My wife will take them, you know, out or whatever. But let's go back to the dressing room. And my daughter tried on a couple of things, and she came out and she goes, "It smells terrible in there." <laughs> and I'm oh, like, no. "Yeah." And I'm like, "Do you think somebody mistook the Target dressing room for the lavatory? <laughs> like, what's going on in the restroom?" Stop. So I went back in there. All the doors are shut, and she was like, "She's like," and I went back in there. I'm like, "Oh my god, it smells <laughs> terrible." And, well, this is just funny. But my wife kind of came. I mean, I don't know. This is kind of a weak story, but it's just a funny. I was like, "Man, it does smell." My wife then, I told my wife, she's out of town, as I mentioned. She's on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, I took Julia to Target tonight. And she had to try on a couple of things. And it smelled terrible back there. And I feel like somebody mistook the restroom for the dressing room and vice versa. And she goes, no, no, no. She goes, typically, like, mothers, like nursing mothers or something like that, if they don't have a Target, they'll take that as the diaper changing station back there. Oh, man. And I'm like, no, but there's a diaper changing station in the restroom. They have a family restroom. But... Anyway, and I targets the, usually have decent bathrooms. Yeah, the reason this is a boring story is I don't have a conclusion to the story. I there's no punchline. I just still a mystery. It smelled terrible. And I was like, man, like I am not taking my daughter to have Target again. It smelled terrible. <laughs> but at least my wife provided some color because it smelled it smelled exactly there's an old joke, and this She's might make to people help, yeah. There's an old joke that Red Fox used to tell about uh oh, the no. no no no, I know. I I'll clean it up. About the maid on the elevator that really had to let the let it go, and there was people on the elevator and they couldn't get on the elevator and they got <laughs> off and they couldn't. Blobs. Yeah, welcome. To, and uh, finally, everybody gets off the elevator and the maid cuts loose, and then she takes the pine saw and she's like, Shh, right. And so somebody gets on the elevator about Dave five minutes later. He's like, yeah, that's right. He goes, man, it smells like somebody crapped a Christmas tree in. <laughs> <laughs> but but that's kind of the the, the reason it i tell like a bear took a dump in the woods that's right yeah <laughs> like what it smells like somebody crapped a christmas tree but anyway red fox tells a joke way better than i do but that's what i felt like at target you know you're kind of back there and you're and you're like man the, like to try on clothes in there is like they should have a sign out say warning like try on clothes at your own yeah at your own peril but I just, I just couldn't get over the smell, and I just was, ooh, I was, I just, oh, I was like, are you really gonna go try on clothes and that? So anyway, that's, uh, that's, I don't know, that's, it's a funny story, but uh, that's all I got for Weddle Tuttle. Say, do you, uh, <laughs> did, have you? Here's the question: Have you ever taken? I mean, you have four, four daughters. Yes. Did, did your wife typically take them shopping, or if like you guys go to the mall oh, at man. this age now, they just go off on their own? But you never, oh, yeah, you have stories you, like. Yeah. Dad, will you take us over to... No, I, I've done the shopping experience a couple times with the girls, you know, just trying to have some of that daddy-daughter time mm -hmm. and, you know, and hook them up and have a good time and, and, and try and maximize the time that you do have with them. But, uh, the, you know, we talked about milestones at the beginning of the podcast. The, yeah. There was a huge milestone as a dad of four girls when I could stop taking them into the men's restroom. Yes. You know, yeah, that, that was a huge milestone for, I was like, sweet, dear yep. God, I can keep them away from the hell that is all breaking loose in a men's right. restroom, especially out in public. I mean, right. good Lord. So, well, and uh, that has that nothing to do with perverts. That just has to do with taking them into a men's restroom that probably smells like that target <laughs> dressing I mean, room. If you're it's the worst. Like me, you, you debate going to a public I restroom. I do. I'm like, to, do, do I really like have to go? <laughs> Yeah, and that's why you're kind of like searching out the targets or the local Bucky's. How far away is yeah. Bucky's? I need to get in one of their. You don't know what Bucky's is, but no, I do not. Their their claim to fame is the cleanest bathroom in America. Yeah. Well, there and you, go. Uh, you know, there's certain you got your you got your spots around town where you're like, yeah, I've got no problem going in there. But then you're like, oh, man, I'm sure as hell not going in there. No. Well, but, you know uh, the the Spectrum out here. So the Spectrum, I would always just yeah. find the Nordstrom. Just get into Nordstrom. Yes. They, they, yeah. You're like, yes, Nordstrom. That's good stuff because mm -hmm. the public restrooms out by the Ferris. We aren't cutting it. You're like, you got like the family restroom, you yeah. know, so you got, you got options. <laughs> yeah. But then, like you said, taking your daughters in there. That's what I always said about the new, like out here. I always send you a picture of the all, you know, like the all gender restroom or whatever. And you're like, mm -hmm. 
poor women, man. The fact that they just kind of made all the restrooms Everything all gender. They have it's is like being encroached on. It's encroached on, but but poor women. Like I have to go into this all gender restroom where like five men yeah. were in here before me. Like men, you know, I'm not good at my own house. I just get told that all the time. Like leaving the seat up, leaving the seat down. It's like poor women. It's like that it's affects them in a worse way. Yeah. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get notified when we post new videos.